Boofy and I go way back. When I was born, my grandmother gave me a stuffed Boofy as a gift. My mother and father tried to take it from me, but it upset me so much that they just ended up letting me keep it. They didn't think very highly of my grandmother. When I'd ask why, they'd always change the subject or give vague answers to the question. As I was growing up, my parents would fight a lot. It got worse and worse every passing day, and it upset me very much. I'd always go to Boofy for comfort in these times. I'd lie in bed and pray that things would be different when I awoke the next morning. One day, my prayers were answered. That's where our story begins. Oh! Of course! Hey, it's Greg. And today we're going to be playing Boofy's Bunker. A game you can find on Itch.io and Game Jolt for free. A link to both will be in the description. Uh... Apparently this game is huge. At least that's what from people are saying. Uh, there's a computer. Okay. Hall of Memory. Interesting. Okay, so it's a pixelated horror game. But by pixelated, this is a filter that you can put over over the, the player's face. Game development stuff. Whatever. Fun. Let's just get into the game. The game is made by... Retro Horror Arcade or something like that. A uh, new developer, but they were a YouTuber named Jayski Bean. And they quit YouTube to do this. So, easy mode, normal mode, hard mode, extreme, or just quit. Oh, leaning. Error. Wait, is there no mouse lock? Okay, there is, but not for like... Whatever. Okay, let's learn how to play. Well, hi there. I'm How to Play Rock Radio. If you go through one of these doors, you'll be locked in Boofy's bunker with Boofy himself. The oh. main exit is blocked off with some locked doors. Each door has a matching magic key hidden somewhere inside the bunker. And these keys are huge. Just carrying one of them would exhaust anybody. What makes them magic, you ask? Well, they teleport to a random location inside the bunker if they're put down. Make sure you crouch down and catch your breath every once in a while or you'll exhaust yourself. If you get exhausted, just make sure you rest for a while and you'll be running again in no time. Your lamp has very limited energy supply, so use it wisely. Once it's gone, it's gone for good. Oh, and watch out for Boofy. Why am I telling you all this? I'm not. It's all in your head. You're crazy. Now go get some keys, crazy pants. <coughs> oh no. Oh, by the way, why I was laughing at the end of that little intro sequence whenever he launched the game is because I could hear him put down the microphone or like move the microphone or like click on something to stop the audio recording. <laughs> uh, okay. Graphics settings. Oh, okay. Well, I'll just leave it how it is. It's fine how it is. Look around. F for flashlight. Leaning. Sure. Control to crouch. Sure, I'd rather have it as C, but all right. Space to look behind you. Interact and drop items, gotcha. All right, let's go start out with easy, just to get a feel for the game. I'm already having a feeling that this is gonna be a maze game. Or something like it. Okay. Boofy's bunker, let's go. So we need to find Gigantic magical keys. <clears throat> oh, there's another computer. Oh, there's a key. Micro Horror Arcade is now available via the main menu. Is that a secret? Or an unlockable? Okay, I got a key. I got a blue key, though. So what's with this exhaust, exhaustion mechanic? Do I get tired? <sighs> it is a maze game. But it's the dev's first game, and that's what I always say. It's like, you know, maze games are the easiest to make. Which, even in a video I made that was like 30 minutes long, it took me like an hour to make a maze game. So it's understandable that their first would be a maze game. 
Okay. So do we need to find a blue door? Oh, what's that? Okay. This place is gigantic. Does it need to be this big? Replayability. At its finest. Oh, we got some light leak. <laughs> There's a red key. I have a blue key and a red key. Can I carry both? Is the question. Okay, so I put that one down to pick this one up. And so the blue key now respawns somewhere else. That's what the intro was, or the how to play was telling me. Oh, okay, I can't run while carrying a key. So that means Boofy must be faster than my runs or faster than my walk speed. See, this this is the shit that mm, this is what happens when you become a game dev. You oh, just respawn back where it was. Okay. Which is at the entrance. I need a green key, right? Yeah. But uh Whenever I play, like, little indie horror games, I always tend to... a white key. And the keys make noise. There's a downstairs! Oh my goodness. Okay. But whenever I play, like, the indie horror games, like, I always go, like, really in-depth into game development and all that sort of stuff. Because I've been doing it for, like, ten years. I've been... I'm a game designer, okay? I don't... I'm a not... I'm not a game producer anymore. Like, I'll make them. Or make the levels. And stuff. But I don't really make... Full-fledged games by myself. Because that got tiring. Over time. Because trying to make a full-fledged, like... Four-hour game by yourself... It's actually really, really difficult. Like, if you ever just sat down and just tried to realize how much work and effort actually... It, it takes a lot of work to make something. Especially by yourself. Like, the, you have to make the music, you have to make the coding, you have to make the artwork, you have to make the storyline, the plot, and the setting, and all that sort of fun stuff. It takes a long time. Okay, so we got some skulls. But whenever it comes to games like this... You'll notice, like, a lot of the assets are reused over and over and over, so it doesn't take very long for them to just drag and drop, because this is made in Unreal Engine. And Unreal Engine isn't the most drag and drop system, but it can be if you want it to be. And, again, with the, the filter that I was talking about at the very beginning, it's just a filter over, your, over the player's face. It's not a filter going across the entire game. It, it's sort of like this translucent screen that you can place in front of the player character's model and it simulates the entire world as this pic pixelated space but it's actually just a small fragment of what is actually being seen okay <clears throat> so i didn't find anything of use i don't know what i'm doing okay, there's that white key i have a red key i know where the blue key is so i know where three of the keys are, but I don't know what to do with it. any of them. Sounds like another key is behind here? Because I can hear it. You can hear the keys. And then I notice, like, all these, like, freaking small YouTube channels just eating this shit up. YouTube content fodder. It's been a while since I've, I've I've uploaded. How you guys been? It's been a while since I've been around. I've been having troubles with my computer. I actually had to take. Oh, okay. Oh, damn it! Fuck. Mmm. But uh, I, yeah, I've been having problems with my PC. Okay, the red key is just back here. I can just go grab it again. Uh. It wasn't running well for like the past year and a half or so, so I decided to do some manual maintenance on it. 
and I took apart my graphics card. Oh, it's not there. That's where it was last time. But I took apart my graphics card, which you're not really supposed to do unless you know what you're doing. And I also took off my liquid cooling and stuff on my PC, that sort of thing. And just turns out my computer was just constantly overheating for no reason. And I didn't know that. And so I wasn't able to record or do anything or play games or anything like that. And so I think the last game I played before I took my computer apart was... There's the green key. Was, uh... Okay, there we go. Now I need the, the red key? Yes. Okay. But yeah, the last game I played before taking my PC apart was Sinister Halloween. And I actually quite liked that game. It was lagging like crazy, though, with my overheating computer. Like, there were points to where it was dropping down to, like, 46 frames a second when it shouldn't be. And so whenever I f finally took my computer apart, it, uh, it completely fixed all of my problems. Like, I... Hello? It, it fixed a lot of my problems, like, uh... Hello? Oh! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh my god! It's fast! What the fuck? How are you supposed to outrun that thing? Oh, was I even running? To begin with. But, uh... Yeah, I had to put new thermal paste on to... My graphics card's... S GPU? And to do that, you have Oh, come on. You have to completely take apart your graphics card. Which, for some graphics cards, it voids the warranty. But for- luckily for mine, it didn't. Okay, let's go down here. And see if I- if the key respawned down here. You can sometimes see it through the walls, which is a bug, I'm guessing. But, is he down here? Oh, come on! I think this is a dead end down here. It is. Can I juke him? <laughs> Bad bitch. But, uh, yeah, it voids the warranty, and so I had to- I took off the old thermal paste with alcohol, and then I put on new thermal paste, which is some, like, high-quality thermal paste, because the old thermal paste, I noticed, was, like, cracking and stuff, which it's not supposed to do. And then I took off the thermal paste off my CPU of my PC, and that seems to have fixed all of my problems. Like, I just bought the new Star Wars game. And I'm still- I'm running on a GPU that's, what, like, four or five years old. I'm on a 980 Ti, and I can run the new Star Wars game maxed out. Even though before I wasn't able to, because of the overheating problems that I didn't know I had. How do I leave here? Mmm, this is why- Mmm, okay, I'm gonna hold- Because I wanted to beat this game as a one-off. I wanted to do this game as a one-off, but- as it seems, since I lost that one key... Uh... I don't know if I'm gonna do that. But apparently this game has a lot of collectibles and stuff like that. How do I leave? Through here, right? Is he up there? Or back there? Okay, he's probably back there. Let's go over here. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. There's the white key. I need the red key. I don't know where the red key is. Anymore, since I dropped it. 
And that's something I'm gonna go ahead and say that I don't like about the game. Is the fact that if you... Oh, there he is! Hi! The fact that if you drop a key, it instantly despawns from where you dropped it and respawns somewhere else. I don't like that. But also, to compensate... Oh, shoot. To compensate for that idea, the game is in a dream. Okay, he's walking down there. Well, we're gonna walk over here. I don't think I've seen this. Have I been here? No. Oh, we got some toilets. There's the freaking key. Okay, so now we can't get caught because we can't run anymore. But that's fine. I know where the- I know there's the blue key. The white key is a, around the corner. There. Now all I need to know is which key I need next. And I can go grab it real quick. The white key. Okay, white key is right over here. Got it. And then I'm assuming I need the blue key. Because I've only seen four colors of key. Blue key, yeah. And that's around the corner here. And I got one little collectible, which was that. I don't know what that is, though. Okay. We did it. Boofy's hedge maze is now available. Oh. A trophy has been unlocked. Oh. I try to think of reasons I ended up there, in Boofy's bunker, and I can never think of anything logical. The closest explanation I had was something that someone said to me a few years ago about dreams and parallel dimensions. Something like, what if, when we fell asleep, our consciousness left our body and into another world that happens to exist in the same exact place as ours, but in another plane? It's a far-fetched theory, but it's all I've got. The radio said it was all in my head, but something told me that I shouldn't trust everything I heard in there. I knew I had to keep searching every corner of the bunker to find answers. Okay. Hall of Memory, or back to the main menu. What's a Hall of Memory? One and two. Boofy and I go way back. Oh. I was born like no, 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 no. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut, shut up. So it's just the, the, the audio logs. Oh, hi! I see you up there. Hey, what up, buddy? Can I go up there with you? Oh, I can! Well, hey there, partner. I'm Tips and Tricks Totem. If you ever get stuck on anything or have an enemy that you don't know what he does, I'm your man. I know just about anything about everything up in here. <laughs> just let me know if you need anything, buddy. <laughs> wow, thanks. Oh, is this the hez hedge maze? Is this the hedge maze? Alright, let's go. Oh? Are these feet? Are these feet? These are feet. It's like a statue. It's very loud. Oh no. I wanna find him. Hey.
Uh-oh. Can he still kill me? The key was on his back. He can still kill me. And you put the freaking key on his back? Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, what up, dude? Big boofy. <laughs> All right. God, I. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. So what? What the key do? What do I do with the key? I haven't seen a place to use a key. This should be... yeah, okay, so those are landmarks, which is nice. I just went in a circle. Maybe it should take me to Big Boof. Big Boof, yep, okay. So I need to go back down this, uh... That direction, but not that way. Here we go. This is the entrance. And... What do I use the key on? I have yet to find a use for said key that I found. Okay, that was just a loop. That takes me back here. Okay, I need to find landmarks. Okay, this looks like this opens. Eventually. He was right around the corner. Jesus. Boofy is your key to opening the exit gate. Track him down and pickpocket the key without him noticing you. I did that already, game. I don't know where the exit is. It's a maze game. Nobody knows where the exit is, except for the developer. Hopefully this isn't procedurally generated. Retry it or main menu. We're going back to main menu. Jesus, that's what, mm. Okay, I'm gonna hold off into the very end of the video. Granted, I'm gonna say this now, I will eventually try and beat this. Hi! <laughs> All right. Okay, we got this now, right? No? Hello. I am Delete Data Droid. I will delete all of your save data if you touch me again. Beware my presence. Fear my metal body. Okay, so he'll delete my save data. Man, Miko with a wrath sure is lazy. He doesn't do much, but you definitely don't want to touch him. He'll burn you up so good you wish you were at Grandpappy's bonfire on New Year's Eve. Okay, so there's a new enemy. What's behind here? Um... Alright. Again, I'm just going on easy to get, like, a feel for the game. Hi. Okay. Oh! I can hide! There's something there. Oh, that's right, I can crouch. What's this? A phone? Oh, what's down here? Oh, hi! Oh, he's cute. Shut up, phone. No, no. Is this the exit? Did I find the exit? Oh! Oh, I found money. I guess that's what that was. I don't know! <laughs> the game doesn't really explain much. To be honest. What 
What did that? What did that do? Hi. All right. Oh, okay, so this just takes me back here. It's like a shortcut? I don't... Mm, I don't know. I've been everywhere! What do I do? What? What? I've been everywhere. Oh, 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 oh. Arr, 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 arr. Me spooky. I've been everywhere. I don't know where to go. Okay, he's up here now, right? Oh, whoa. Wait. That blue thing is teleporting like from platform to platform. Yo. Okay. Two. Yeah, I knew it was coming. I didn't care. Okay, avoid being anywhere near Tinrea of Sorrow for next ex for expended periods of time at all costs. This blue insectoid AI will break you down and destroy you if you're near her for too long. Okay. If you don't answer that gosh darn phone before Zelion realizes someone's calling, the fist of Zelion itself will crash down on the whole place. You definitely don't want that happening. So the phone was something as well? <sighs> okay. I'm going to give my full honest thoughts and opinions on this. I'm going to give my... I'm going to give my opinions on what's good first. So first and foremost, the game is... It seems to have a lot of content. And for a free game, that's really good. And for a free game from a developer who's n never made a game before and th this is their first release, that's also really good. It shows commitment and some form of quality control. Uh, the game plays fine. Uh, running 60 frames a second the entire time. No hitches or bugs so far. Maybe some graphical glitches with light leak and uh, being able to see that one red key, I think, through the wall at one point. I don't know if that was because of pop-in or not. But yeah, it seems like there's a lot of content going up the ladder, takes you to the maze. Going through this door back here takes you to... Or that that's the, the grass maze. Going through this door here takes you to... The, the sort of AI looking place, which is really cool. I like that area most. And then doing like the regular story, you can unlock little collectible dudes, which is cool. And I think that adds a lot of replayability for people to go back in to collect all the little figurines. I'm guessing there's more. And also try and, uh, of course, beat the game. That sort of thing. And then, of course, there's the Hall of Memory, so you can re-listen to the, the old audio logs and that sort of thing. That That's that's a lot of content, especially for their first game. So out of all those things put together, that adds like a fully fledged sort of game experience instead of just a tech demo or a demo or something like that. Or like, oh, this is my first game. I put no effort into it sort of thing. There's a lot of effort that was put into this. So that that's good. That's, that's all good things. My few complaints. Why are they all mazes? Why why do they all have to be mazes? And, and I was bringing this up during whenever I was in the bunker in easy mode. Why like I understand like I, this this is what I said is that I understand maze games are it's the easiest form of game anybody can make within an hour. Making a maze level takes no skill, no effort. 
And I, I have uploaded a video a few months ago of me making a maze game, and it took me an hour. It's not difficult. Now, with this maze game and how it compares to the others, this one's a little more fleshed out with the sort of key mechanic. So you have to find multiple keys. And whenever you pick up a key, it you can't run, so then Boofy can come and kill you easier. Or if you don't want him to kill you, you have to drop the key you're currently holding to run. And one of my complaints with the keys is that they just despawn and then respawn somewhere else randomly. And that's the one thing I hate most about maze games is they require you, instead of just finding the exit, like any maze in existence in the real world, you have to find some sort of excuse to be able to leave said maze even after you find the exit. Now, whenever I played Consternation, this was my biggest complaint, that you just have to slap in a key, slap in a door, create the maze, slap in an enemy, and let the player loose. And that's why it's so simple. And why I'm not tearing this one apart as much as Consternation is that this one actually has some meat on its bones, you know? It actually has something to work for, you know, the collectibles and the, the memories and the other different levels you can unlock. It actually has a little bit of meat on it. And so I'm not going to tear this game entirely apart just because, oh, it's a maze game. It is a maze game, but it actually has something going for it. And that Consternation did not. Uh, but still, on the surface, it, it's a maze game. And those, they're not great. There has been yet a maze game that has actually impressed me or caught my attention or kept my attention. This game doesn't captivate my attention because it's a maze game. No maze game has. And I'm only going to try and continue to play this game on the channel. I'll probably make two more episodes on this because it's a long game and it actually has stuff for me to find. And that's what I like to do. I like collecting things and that's my that's my weakness finding collectibles and this game has it so i'm going to do it albeit through the the constant struggle and my dislike of mazes now there were a few bugs like like i said the light leak and stuff like that uh Audio is not spatial. It is that sort of one floor audio. So like, let's say the enemy is on the floor below you. It's going to sound like the enemy is in the floor with you. Or if the floor, if the enemy is in the floor above you and you're below them, it's going to sound like the enemy is in the room with you. Or if let's say they're, they're in three rooms down from where you are, but on the lower level, it's going to sound like they're just three rooms down. You know what I mean? It, it's it, it's an audio thing, and it's really, really hard to get right. Audio mixing is really hard to get right. And especially for a 3D environment, you know, game developers who actually do that sort of thing as their jobs are able to make it to where the sound actually bounces off the walls that they're in and sort stuff like that. But it's hard to do whenever you're just making pre-recorded audio instead of actually making the audio a part of the 3D environment. And that's more game dev stuff that I know about, <laughs> that I've worked with. It's hard. It really is. Um, Boofy's Bunker, it's okay. I'm not going to say it's bad. I'm not going to say it's good. It's okay. It's a game. <laughs> And of course, it's their first, which is understandable. But I, I definitely do plan on playing more of this. Because I quite... Uh, I'm, I'm captivated by the fact that I can collect things. And that's about it. That's the only thing keeping my attention. Uh, like, Boofy is sort of like their IP. But it's very uninspired. It's just sort of this squirrel-looking dude. That has a texture to them. Uh, I think this game would have been far off. 
are far better off without the the filter, the the pixelated filter. Like I understand you're getting inspiration from Dave Microwave's games, but uh, the filter just makes everything look grainy. It makes it look bad. And if there's a way to turn that off, that'd be good. And I didn't even have all the the game on the highest settings either. Well, wow. okay. But yeah, because there's no there's no um, way to turn off that filter, that would have been great. But uh, yeah, that's Boofy's Bunker, everybody. I'll probably make a few more videos on it, see how it goes. Because I want to see what else I can collect. And I don't know what that arcade thing was. <laughs> Ooh, professionalism. I don't know what that arcade thing was. I found that arcade, right? And it said you can find it back here. I guess that's what this is? This is a, a, a secret level I unlocked because I clicked on the arcade machine? I don't know. But there you guys have it. Boofy's Bunker, everybody. Please let me know what you think about the game in the comments. Also, let me know if you want to see more of this game. And if not, I guess I won't upload it. I'll, I'll probably record more, but I won't upload it. I don't know. It just really depends on how you guys feel. But, uh, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, I'll see you guys later.